guys and welcome to my channel in this video it will all be about painting these beautiful green fields with a sun behind them it is actually a lot more easier to paint it than it might seem and i'll guide you through the entire painting process so let's get started first thing i did is prevent my paper the entire paper and right now with a bigger round brush i'm painting in the fields with a sap green as this is just a background to my field, I did not start with painting any particular shapes, but when going in again with the paint and doing second layer, I am making the impression of wheat, because when the paint dries there, it will blend with my background, but it will create the notion of some weeds being there. I'm planning to paint a simple sky this time and for it I'm using cadmium yellow medium and just painting it in one same wash without any cloud shapes. Right now I'm using a white tissue and picking up the paint in a round shape for where my sun is going to be. The paper is still wet and with a smaller round brush this time I'm just tapping in the impressions again of the weeds and making some vertical strokes to complete that. When the paint completely dried I'm preventing the paper again and this time I'm going around my sun and trying not to wet that part of the paper and I'm darkening the parts where my sky and field meet because I want that part of the field to look as it is lightened up by the sun and I'm using raw sienna. Around the sun I'm making a circle with cadmium lemon to make even bigger higher contrast between the sun and the rest of the sky and the field. When I painted that circle, I'm also smudging the paint around it a little bit to blend it more into my sky. Same as the first time, I'm repeating my steps and making the impressions of the weed in my fields and for that the paper must be still wet. Heads I'm tapping in with the tip and sides of my brush. And those long stiff extensions, I think they're called beard, I'm painting with a script brush, which is, I think, perfect for those thin lines. When the paper dries, I'm pre-wetting it again and repeating all those steps, but this time I'm using a little bit more saturated green. Until now we painted only the impression of weeds and I do want to paint a couple of them that are gonna be in focus and not blurred. So in one practical example I will show you how I paint those seeds on the head of the weed. First thing I'm doing is painting a shape of an H or a heart for kernels and next thing I'm doing is going around them with a smaller detail brush to paint in the outlines of them that will resemble the shape of those seeds that are placed in the head. I also want that part to be darker so it looks like it's in shadow and that's the reason why I'm using sepia. Those long stiff extensions called beard you can paint with a detail brush or of course script brush. After the paint completely dried, I'm going in with some raw sienna mixed with green and coloring the seeds. I'm adding only green for a shadow at the bottom of every seed and stalk. Now we will repeat all that process, but this time on our painting.
At the end, I decided I want a little bit more highlights on my seat head and I used white gouache and on a couple of seeds or kernels I added that highlight. And also I added a couple of grasses and beards with white gouache. With that I'll be finishing off my painting and of course this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it and if you did please like, comment, share and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!